Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civiliz oh, Europa Universalis 4, not Civilization 6. Um, kind of... Been a, been a couple of days since I've played this save, so I'm gonna have to try and re-acquaint re myself with things. I know that we are in a war with Great Britain, and uh, their war enthusiasm is pretty high. We do have an army over here, and generally speaking, we are pretty close in terms of army thing but the problem is a lot of my army oh well Poland and Lithuania are kind of making up a bulk of this whole army stuff now Great Britain does have some army over here so I might be able to actually siege down some of these forts and get Great Britain to peace out if we could do that and get Denmark on their own I think that would be really really good um, Great Britain right now doesn't really have much of an army they still have a pretty big navy um, and that's definitely a problem for us. Um, and we have some loans. It's not the end of the world. We have a little bit of debt. It's really not too much considering how much money we're making. Now we are making less money than we have previously been making because we have to take in all our trade ships. So this war was maybe supporting the independence of Sweden was a bit of a mistake, but it might kind of work out okay in the end. I might look to piece out of this war um, as soon as possible. Yeah, I, I might see if I can just peace out and go back to developing myself and, and getting all these things. Okay, I don't know why that pop-up keeps happening, but it will probably keep happening. Okay, so they're coming up now. Okay, so I want to catch this army here if I can, and I should, because I should be able to block them from crossing. And I should be able to catch this army and take out a lot of it. Very good. And then I should be able to catch this little army here too. Um, that'll be quite good. Now, am I using any mercenaries? I should probably be using some mercenaries to augment my manpower so I don't burn through it as quick. Let's see if this guy will continue. Yeah, I want to wait till he's locked in and then I want to catch him. Okay, so we just barely won. And we managed to wipe out 6,000 of England's cannons. That's going to be huge. Those battles are big. Um, that's going to swing a lot of stuff in our favor. We now have 100k stuff. Poland, Lithuania. Looks like these numbers have updated correctly. And we just took out a bunch of Great Britain's army. We're going to have to spend a bit of time uh, resting and recuperating. I'm going to take out all the zero strength divisions and have them wait here. Look, we've got any other zeros? No, I'm gonna have them wait here because I think they'll regenerate faster um, on this territory. I'm, I forget how to check that. 200 men in each month. If I were to bring them back here, they would regenerate probably a little bit quicker. But what is it in here? I guess it's the same speed, so I'll just have them all come together and occupy this fort. What I might do is I might see if I can just sneak my fleet out into the coast here. Whenever, uh, whenever a siege tick is about to go, just to get a slightly better, um, so how many days? That'll be the 26th of August, and this siege will trigger on a couple days. So they only have to be out in the sea for like a few days. And then we just pop back in and we wait for the next siege tick so we can avoid any combat. Um, I'm actually going to leave you out here until these guys reinforce you, and then I'll, um, and I'll do that sort of thing. Okay, so let's bring this fleet back out now. I guess I could leave this out here. It's a pretty big fleet. Um, I want to catch this army if I can. I'm going to see if I can get away with leaving a single unit in this province. I want to wait till they're locked in. Okay, let's go fight them. I'm going to lose an army here, that's fine. Because we we lost a regiment, but we managed to completely wipe out one of their entire armies. So that's a huge swing in war score for us. And we're going to catch these guys too, which is great. Now they do have defensive terrain here, which is unfortunate for me. Oh, and they got reinforced. That's actually super bad. 
So the good thing is we control this straight. But Denmark will be looking for me to peace out. I don't want to peace out entirely yet. I want to see if maybe they will hurry up and let Sweden take, take their peace. Now, does Sweden have any cores? Maybe a few cores over here and there. Russia has gotten started. I think I'll stay in the war just to provide my... The, the, the sort of my force limit. Um, but yeah, we lost a lot of manpower there. I could build buildings, but I need to save up to repay my debt. Um, I could get military technology, and it probably would have made sense to do it there, although I only have a little bit of cannon. Uh, let's see here. Local trade power modifier. They took this back. That's reasonable. I'm currently doing some stuff, so I'm getting some money from blockading, which is quite good. Also getting some of that. How are you guys doing over here? Let's see, all my colonists are out doing things. Oh, what is this? I want to get rid of this little landing box so this can be bigger. Is there anything I don't need to know about? Let's see. I have a bunch of armies scattered around the world. I guess I don't need to know about colonists and colonies. I could probably just get away with knowing these. So I want to go in here and set my... Um, well, let's see. Would you separate piece out if I took these two? Maybe these ten war scores to make demands. Well, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to have a quick look at my... Diplo thing. There's a way for me to do this and I kind of forget how. Diplomacy, that's it. It's in here and if I start right clicking these things, let me have a look. Ah, there we go. So now I'm going to say that I want these. Oh, that did not quite work the way I planned it. I want these. Um. And I'm going to say I want these as well. So that hopefully my, my subjects will start to fabricate claims over on these sorts of tiles as well if they can. Now I have a 10 stack here. I can't, don't think I can get it home though. Which is unfortunate. Um, I am starting to lose money. I can zoom in on this. Okay. There's a 31 stack over here. There's a 40 stack here from Poland. Tell you what I might do. I might see, I might, once my army's recovered a bit, I might see and let England cross the channel. Losing lots of money to reinforcements. Natives in Honduras lose. Yeah, I think I want to get the aid natives here. I'll make my colonies a little bit better. I do have one colony finishing soon. The Evangelical Union. Oh dear. So there is going to be religious wars. I am going to want to join the Protestant League, I think. I think that could be a bit of fun for me to play around as a bastion against Christianity. Um, because I am a Protestant nation. Resettlement. Um, more people means more taxes. So yeah, that would be good. The more value I can get out of my colonies, the better. Okay. Tumuqua is now self-sustaining. Um, and that belongs to me, because I don't have a colonial nation here yet. I'm working on it. But I wanted to see if I could just grab a little bit more trade power in the Caribbean to try and pull more of this value upstream. That's pretty important to me. I have plenty of trade power across the world, but... Um, now, something I really wanted to do was to try to get an army down to the Ivory Coast because I would love to start colonizing down here and maybe hitting up some of these um, natives. Uh, but that's just not going to be a thing that I can pull off right here while I'm at war. See these massive fleets floating around causing me issues. I guess I could go fight these. 
Um, I think I'm going to bring my fleet home now that my army is pretty well stocked. I'm going to march up to the north. Oh, new colonial nation. This is New Ireland. Wait, didn't I already... Did I not already do this? I'll call this New Ireland. Wait a minute, I thought I already had a New Ireland. No, I have an Irish... Uh, Canada. New Ireland. Alright, nice. So I'm going to send... I will send another colonist down here. Just because I want, again, I want more trade power in this node. Um, and I think that'll turn out really nicely for me. It's all part of colonial Eastern America, which I'm hoping to get nice and strong. Okay. So, let's zoom back in here. And what I'm hoping to pull off here is once this army is across... I've gained three professionals. And once this army is across on the 24th of May, I'm going to cut it off here. Okay, stop. The merchants can learn from it. Uh, I think I'd like right now, based on my ideas and stuff, I think I'd like the admin power. So what I'm going to try to do is route this army and pop my boats out in the same instance. Whoa, get over there. That's just to prevent them from reinforcing. So now this guy can't retreat anywhere, and we're fighting here too, but we are going to want to get out of there before they arrive. How long until you can retreat? Okay, we stack wiped them. That's good. So now you guys can retreat as soon as possible on the 2nd of July. We're up against... Actually, we're pretty evenly matched. We have lots of carols. I might fight this out a little bit. Oh no, now I need to retreat. Let's see, we killed a lot more. We, we didn't lose anything and we killed um, one heavy ship for these, one of these. So that was a really good exchange for me there. Didn't lose anything really. So I'm hoping they try to cross the thing again and we can kind of grab another stack. Hey, that worked out really nicely. Although I do have a mission, import potatoes. That could be really good. I'm tempted to do it. Let's see, I'm also, I'm going to set, in my diplomatic thing, I'm going to set these as things that I want. Let's see, Scotland. I want your stuff because I, I have permanent claims on them, so I may as well have these marked as things that I want. Now, how is my relationship with Spain? Okay, Spain hates me, so I'm gonna tell my va. Okay, you have already done that. I'm gonna get you. Hopefully, when we're at peace and we've stabilized our economy, we might look to see if we can get total ownership of the uh, Caribbean. I think that could work really well, although I would probably want to kind of build up my power a little bit more, get a nice big navy, all that sort of stuff. Let's zoom in here, and we'll wait for this. Okay, they didn't cross. Okay, they're crossing with a 12 stack. Slow down. Go on, try. Colonial. I think this became self-sustaining as well. Hmm. There is another consideration I want to make sure I pay attention to. There's a lot of gold down here, so this is going to be something I want to uh, to make sure I get a I get a colonial nation down here and start reaping all the benefits of all that gold. Um, so that's going to be a big priority for me is to get a, get a hold of some of that gold for myself. Now a twenty stack. is interesting. It's hard to tell what exactly is in here, but it looks like it's a lot of heavies. So I'm hoping some of them will go away. We will have the advantage of a defensive terrain. 
This is Woods, which is not the same combat thing as my Capital. I still don't, I don't have that bonus anymore, do I? Yeah, I don't have that bonus anymore. So I might have to shift Consolidate here. I definitely need to prevent these reinforcements because that's going to make this untenable for me. So I'm going to have to sacrifice some ships here. This is going to be an expensive fight if I don't do that. I can't deal with losing any more. We'll see how this fight goes, and then we'll see if we can peace out. Oh, I did not mean to come out. I meant to only pretend to come out. Damn, we lost a lot there. I meant to come out now. So that we could stack wipe this. Do even more damage. So if I just send out a single caravel, I think that will block. Because that will technically make it the um and then we stack wipe them. Yes! Okay. So we stack wipe them. It cost us a lot of ships, but because I misclicked and I forgot I could I could use a single ship to do that, and I threw all my ships at it. But we basically stack wiped England. But now we can't get over there. But England is in pretty bad shape now. Yeah, they have very, very few uh, things left. So my participation score is at 52%. So I'm hoping Sweden will see that and decide to give me some... I don't know what the war goal is or how much it takes to enforce independence. But I think we should be fine. Hoping Sweden will look for peace. I'm going to pull you back here in the hopes that England crosses more troops. I'm so upset that I forgot that I could block it with just a single ship. I lost so many ships without needing to. Where am I losing money, by the way? Mostly gold from trade I'm losing. Okay, more people are joining leagues. What's our military score? Uh, let's have a look at the ledger country score. So I think I would actually become the leader of the league if I joined it. Oh, I don't know what my military score is. It would probably be quite low, actually, until I finish. Well, did I finish quantity? No, but I'm, I am definitely going for quantity. Okay, we are losing innovativeness. We want to regain that. We can take all these techs. We are going to replace these with the uh, large cast iron cannon. Okay, army professionalism is up to plus 40% now, so we do quite a bit better actually. Uh, how does it work again? Yeah, we're doing 5% uh, five, 5 more damage, which is pretty nice. That's 4.5. Um, so, hmm. it's hard to think here. What do I want to make happen? I think I just kind of want to let time pass and see what happens right now. Um, my navy has been severely damaged, but I should be able to get that to a functional level again. I'm going to need like more heavy ships, I think. I'm going to invest heavily. I think I'm going to invest less in piracy and more in just controlling this node. I want to have at least like 75% to 80% of this node. I think that would make it so that I make a lot more money because a lot of my money is being pulled away to these other nodes and I think I would just be better off stopping the money here um, and that way I could just have one big fleet of caravels in there trade league is being created and lost and stuff I am kind of tempted to make these into full state like I mean why not I'd have to core them but I just yeah, we'll do it 
I mean, sure, it's a state I can't really use. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely be looking into um, seeing if I seeing if I can get a hold of these gold mines down here because that's gonna be extremely lucrative if I can. And it feeds into the Caribbean as well, which is a place I want to get control of. Who are your allies? Tlanpak and Tlaxcala. Can I get my 10 stack? Because my 10 stack should be good enough to fight these guys. Do I have a little fleet here with my cogs? There's three cogs here. I want to use the fourth fleet. The third fleet, yeah. to get down there because I'm pretty sure these guys haven't reformed yet have they yeah tech level six so now is the time to strike while these guys are still pretty weak in tech I should be able to take them on with like a very small army a couple of cannons and stuff okay No, 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 you're the first fleet. You don't do automatic transportation. I think I'm going to keep my leader here. Well, let me have a look. How old is he? He's 38. I could also repair my Republican tradition. This More monarch points would be just really nice right now. Especially since I've got an idea coming up, and it is a military idea. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to want to stockpile military. So I might go for one military candidate and then do the keep him thing. Okay, this guy was much younger. Did he roll a good ability? Come on, roll a good ability. War exhaustion, oh, that's a great one actually. Particularly because we're at war, we're actually getting war exhaustion. Um, Sweden, don't mean to alarm you, but you know, there's a war on and I can't really do anything about it right now. Actually, I guess I could go across the channel. I would be scared about getting my troops trapped in England, though. Um, that would be really, really bad if that happened. I could probably keep England's forts occupied. Or their um, their fleet occupied, is what I meant to say. Alright. I think we're doing fine. Oh, shoot. Forgot about this. Damn. Alright, let's see if we can make that be fixed. Trade League. Army is under attack. Okay. That should all be fine. Let's head back over here to our capital. Oh, Jesus. That was just long enough for me not to see this coming. to mark up what's my force limit what do I need what's our battle with here We've got 14 they've got uh it's hard to see exactly how many frontline troops they have but it looks like they have 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, that's 16,000, 20,000, 25,000. Good God, I'm going to have to get so many marks. All right, we need a loan. We need like a solid... Eleven marks. Nine, ten, eleven. We are super over force limit right now, but I think it's important for us to do this 
to try to prevent this siege flipping. We have a 3-2. They have a... can't tell. I can't see what their leader is, but we're going to have to just take the fight. We will be defensive, which is good. And we might be able to trap this army here and stack wipe it. Alright, let's have a look. There's slightly better morale. Do we have any combat ability? Let's see, do we have any modifiers? No. It's likely he will win this, but we do have this minus one working in our favor. And we're fully using our combat with, with cavalry, so that's another little advantage. He does have the artillery advantage, and we rolled pretty high in the fire phase there. We just need a good shock phase here. Yes! Oh my god. I think we're going to actually do it here. I think the cavalry helped more than the extra artillery. Um, okay, so we're going to pop out a single ship. Stack like this. We're going to sh shift consolidate i'm going to take out the mercenaries and consolidate them regular consolidate rejoin it'll, it'll this will bring my costs down as i sort of rip the mercenaries out of my army i only really needed the harlem to get one quick big battle done and then we'll get another chance at this fight and there's the stack wipe. Beautiful. So we just stack wipe the shit out of England. And now they're super duper upset with me. Let's have a quick look at the ledger. It's a pretty maybe that's a bit exploity, but I think you know, manipulation of the game mechanics. I don't know if I, I don't know if I feel good about that. But I do know that England. They definitely don't feel good about that. Look at this manpower. Look how many mercs they have. <gasps> now, the question is, do I disband these mercs or do I keep them? I think I'm going to consolidate more to bring down my costs a little bit. Um, but I think I'm going to sit over the force limit for a little while. Maybe until the war ends, just so I don't have to pay that big of a price to get back up to my overdrawn force limit. And I'm actually going to drill my army here well no that doesn't make sense i'll lose my morale and then i'll have to make wait months and by the time i get my morale back this fort will be broken okay sweden any day now just get your peace dude Kind of dumb that I don't get the battles that I participated in. My my war participation is extremely high, so I really want to get value out of this war because um, I've spent a lot on it in terms of money and manpower. Um, at this point, I don't know if I'm throwing good manpower and money after bad, but these both look really low enthusiasm. Like you should just separate peace out, England, dude. I don't want to see if I see peace out the war. I'm gonna miss out on this this really nice benefit I should get from having a high war participation. I should get a bunch of prestige, all that good stuff. Yeah, we completely, absolutely destroyed England's manpower, and we completely wrecked their economy too. Like they have basically no money. Um, Spain has announced me as a new rival. Yeah, there's another loan. I think I'm gonna buy down inflation here. Because that will actually make all of this a little bit cheaper, which means we spend less. It means we we bleed less in terms of cash. Is there is there a force limit guy? I think he would actually save me. Land maintenance modifier versus discipline. Ten percent negative. Be pretty good. I I feel like. Yeah, I guess this wall's the save then. Save five. All right, makes sense. <clears throat> Taranqua became self-sustaining. 
Are you really not still exploring? So explore, damn it. Right, we're gonna send a guy here. I definitely want another colonial nation over here because I think there's a good chance for gold to spawn here. But I also want to take the gold that's already here. Um, actually, I should have somebody fabricating claims here. And I should set my diplomatic desire to be... I want these... I want these provinces in particular. I want these nice gold provinces. And I also want to grab this coffee here. It's worth a lot. Four. Really, really nice. It would be super good for my... Um, Oh, there's a way to see it. How do I do that again? Let me see. If I click on this, you can see where gold has a high, high chance of spawning. Um, which is here. So gold is a 5.1% chance. Look at sugar. That's more of a different chance. Let's see. What else is there? Copper. There's like some chances of copper. Some chances of... Uh, iron and stuff. Furs are pretty common across America, as far as I know. So is tobacco on the East Coast. Grain is kind of all through. All throughout. It's like a basic good, and so is this. Now that one... Oh, I didn't realize that one was so common too. What about fish? Mostly on the coastline, yeah. Cool. Sugar, huh? Oh, that's salt. Alright. Now, unfortunately, Ireland isn't very trade good rich. We have some pretty low quality trade goods. Like, I mean, we're doing okay with those trade goods, um, all things considered. So, look, okay, I, I'm, I have a feeling England's not going to bring back that thing, so I'm going to disband the guys that are over the fort limit. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, let's go, okay. I'm just going to get rid of those guys because I don't need them anymore. Reduce trade investment. We are slightly losing cash now. His loans are starting to pile up. My general died. Mm -hmm. Reinforce speed. I don't think I like that. Let's roll for one. Okay, a lot of maneuver. That means he is pretty fast. That could be advantageous. Lower attrition, all the good stuff. Did you get over here yet? Are you still being transported the lazy way? Yeah, it looks like you're still being transported, which is good. Where's the fleet that's picking you up? Over here. Right. Good, 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 good. Okay, Swedish War of Independence. Let's have a look at this. This is a nice war. So, in combat, attrition, and ships. So, we lost... most, Almost all of these ships lost their me. Um, a fair chunk of this manpower would be me, too. But I think also, on the other side of this, a lot of these kills were me. Like, I think the majority of the, um, of the naval deaths were inflicted by me, and a huge proportion of these deaths were inflicted by me. Alright, Sweden. Did you do anything nice for me? Sweden owes me 34 favors. All right, let's get our thingy on. Let's separate this out. Let's grab all these. We'll assign our naval leader. You go. We are going to protect trade in our main node because I think that's more effective than privateering and we've lost so much of this power here. Now we're up to a good number. I think I'm going to take out one more loan and then buy down and use this loan to um, grab a bunch of caravels. And they should pay themselves off pretty quickly. Take a while to build them, but they'll pay themselves off in a reasonable time frame. And they'll also get me to look a little bit scarier. I think I'm also going to... I'm tempted to join the Protestant League. Who would we be up against? Magdeburg, Siena... Barnaberg, Ansbach, Bohemia, Milan, Genoa, the Knights, Ragusa. Hmm. 
yeah, let's join this. This will be fun. I think we'll get involved in this. Nice. So if we look at the Religious League, do we, do we think we could win this right now? Is Brandenburg on our side? That's like the real question. If we have Brandenburg, as long as we're not against Brandenburg. Yeah. Convert faster, damn it. Convert over here. I mean, I am a great power, so I should at least make things a little bit scary for whoever decides to uh, do this stuff. Ooh. Spain joined? I want to leave. I want to leave. <laughs> this was a mistake. Spain has colonies close to ours, eh? Ah, right here. They're trying to block me. They're doing what I'm doing. But I'm too quick for them. Too fast, too furious. Pasamakudi is being done up over here. Nice. The Danish. The Danes inherited this, and I remember me being okay with this. Let's see. Drunken Whiskey Thieves. Ah, found some electric song. Still whiskey and drinking. I'm going to find you. Tired man. So I'm getting released. Ah, okay. So. In terms of development, I could spend a lot on military development right now. It would get me a lot of manpower, wouldn't get me any money, and that's a problem. Whereas I could also spend a lot on Diplo development. I could spend admin points getting more money from my colonies. <clears throat> Irish Canada, for example, they actually now have a little bit of a, a surplus on top of maintaining a colony, whereas Irish Cuba isn't really colonizing, which is why I feel okay having a slightly higher tariff rate with them. So I think I might increase the tariffs here and get a little bit more cash out of them. And just 50% seems reasonable. That'll bring me up to seven gold. That'll get me a little bit more income because I need to get my income up here. Um, it's like a big concern right now. I'm going to spend basically all my Diplo points trying to get these numbers up. That monthly production value might not seem like much, but it'll make a difference. Okay, and a little bit of manpower goes a long way too. Probably increase my force limits a little bit too, which is nice. Um, Battle of Nysha. You're now self-sustaining, and this is part of New Ireland. Um, I definitely want to grab more of these tiles up here in Colonial Eastern America, because this is, again, this is like, these are the two big feeder feed, feeder um, places. This is going to be an important one to grab purely for the gold, as is kind of over in this-ish direction. Um, the Colonial Mexico area, um, purely for the gold again. So I am tempted to maybe go for more colonial Mexico. Although on the same token, having a colony in Louisiana wouldn't be terrible, but I think I need to focus, and I think I'm going to focus on uh, Eastern America and Canada right now. Um, I have two colonies going here. I have, let's see, let's count it. Let's see where our colonies are going right now. I have a colony over here, I have a colony over here, I have a colony here. So I have two going in Eastern America. I have one going down here, I've got one going here, um, and I think Eastern America would be where I get the most return. That, or I could keep buffing up Irish Canada, who is currently my second strongest um, subject. And if I keep buffing them up, they'll be stronger, they'll be more dangerous, they'll be able to conquer more territory for me without my help. Um, 
they'll be able to do all sorts of cool stuff, provide me more troops, provide me more income. Or I could start building up this other colonial mission over here. This would take a very long time to come online, whereas this one, if I could get like Florida knocked down, I'd start pulling even more value from the Caribbean, um, which would be amazing. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, well, maybe I won't go to Cuba. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to maybe try to secure these guys together on the coastline. Um, I think that wouldn't be terrible. Well, I got my 10 stack down here. I do. Okay, I need more stuff over there to fabricate those claims. Kind of upset I didn't get any land out of this, considering I contributed so much to the war, but it's all right. Yeah, I want more of this coastal land. Oh, you know what? It would have been better to go to this one, because this is actually coastal as well, but it's also adjacent to my stuff. Uh, let's see here. Native, native, oh, nice. Native assimilation in Honduras. Lost in the woods. You come back this way. That's where I want to go. Oh, you know what? I should have done, before I did all that development, I should have done the um, import potatoes. The production efficiency would have been really nice, as would have the development cost. I'm saving that for when I really want to do a lot of development, though. I could do that in the late game. Um, when I have a bunch of money and stuff saved up. But yeah, you can see our income is starting to recover to pretty nice rates. And I think it is better to steal the money that they're trying to steal from me here. Rather than it is to try to... Um, Well, uh, pir pirateering, I think, is actually still a good idea. Let's get an actual fighting fleet going. I'm still building a lot of these boats. Um, and I have a lot more that I can build, I think. Yeah, we're, like, nowhere near our force limit. I'm half tempted to take out, like, five loans. My interest is pretty terrible already. I have no inflation. How much debt am I in? A thousand. I could just take out more loans. Boost my fleet. Take full control of the North Sea. And I think that would actually pay off. Long term. I'm going to take another three loans. That's going to put my interest payments up pretty high. But what it will mean is that I will be able to build an ungodly number of ships here. Um, uh, since I'm at full maintenance, I may as well keep drilling. And I think I'm going to keep my armies at full maintenance as well. Uh, I could save some money by getting rid of these mercenaries. Like, they're good, but they're expensive. And manpower shouldn't be a problem for me, because I'm not really fighting in big wars um, right now, anyway. But yeah, th that's the last, like, bunch of boats. Okay, so somebody joined the Protestant League. Looks like it was Scotland. That's actually quite good. Britain has insulted me. I guess I could insult them too. Where's that printing press? Really? Need it. I need it. How much to adopt? Definitely want to embrace it before this um, next tech. But we've got time before we embrace it. Um... developing quite quickly actually so I'm not too worried about it Honduras has become self-sustaining so this is going to be part of colonial Mexico and now we want to again we want to prioritize colonizing here because this is where gold can appear so that's important to me what did we pick up naval supplies and wood Ooh, not awful production zero eh? I guess the local autonomy is pretty rough here.
Are you still exploring? You are. Okay, good job. So my income should keep climbing as I pour more and more ships into the um, trade node here. Okay, over here. The reduced our supply network, that's fine. Okay, let's have a look. Things are moving along swimmingly. Oh god, microphone! Don't fall down. Okay, I guess this is where it lives now. Right in front of my face. I kind of like to have a little bit of a gap. Stop. God damn it, microphone. Stop. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> microphone. <laughs> I'll, I'll get closer to you then. If that's the way you want it. So, I think kind of two big priorities. Start repaying loans. I need to start getting this uh, interest down. And over time, my, my income from trade will start to just steadily increase as more and more boats pour into here, which is good. Which means less money is being pulled forward to these leeches. Got an army under attack over here. That's fine. They're exploring. What the hell are they doing over here? Oh, man. Did you kill those guys? One base tax in Mead. Increase serfdom. I would gain autonomy in Keldara. I really don't want that autonomy. I could probably lower autonomy in Keldara. Yeah, I could definitely lower autonomy in here. Although its autonomy has only been increased recently. Um, yeah, I think I have to accept this. Even for the negative, it's going to hurt me. The nice thing is that this uh, this is now bigger. I think having a nice big capital. What's our current reduction from general development size? Ace or Ash or whatever that is. Let's have a look. Capital City. Minus 15%. Let's go to over here. Okay. Prestige. So let's send to here now. It's time to develop up New Ireland. How are you doing, New Ireland? You are maintaining a colony. Good for you. Good job. Now, Irish Cuba has a decent amount of liberty desire. So we might have to start decreasing tariffs in here over time. But for now, we're getting really good. Really good cash from them. They have a huge surplus. Are they even building buildings? I hope they are. I want you to get into a colonial war. But my fleet... I'm kind of worried about starting a war with Spain and the colonies. I think my colonial nations are stronger right now-ish. But I don't know how intelligent they are and how good they would be at like fighting this war without my intervention. Like if I look at Hispaniola, okay, let's uh, go to H. They've got a pretty small army, call it 8,000 troops, okay? And then if we go to Irish Cuba, they've got 10,000, so Irish Cuba has them beat a little bit. Then if I go to navies, and I go by country, I go all the way down to Hispaniola. Irish Cuba has them just barely beat again. So I think I could win this war, but then I don't know. Isn't there like a way for the overlord to intervene? I need to look that up. Um... Colonial War U4. Start Colonial War U4. This is what I want to find out. Um,
Let's say if I were to declare this war on this guy, okay? How do I make this a colonial war? Hesse would accept. Distant war, distant war. You know what we're going to do? We're going to save Scum, because I actually don't know what this does. I'm going to call this Overpowered Ireland 6. And then off screen, I'm going to play around and see how this works. And then I'll make the decision about whether or not it works. So you might call it save scumming. It's more like information finding. But yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. Remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. And remember to give me some love. Because I love you guys very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.